hey guys welcome back to the channel so today i am quickly going to do a postpartum skincare routine so i have switched up things ever since i gave birth because child my skin has been showing me flames so it hasn't been that bad because i remained consistent with my skincare routine throughout my pregnancy which i I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I've shown a couple of times on my YouTube channel and I'm also, I've am i also spoken about it in detail on my Instagram page. So if you haven't seen that, head over to my Instagram or I will share some of the videos in the cards or in the description box below so you can see what skin type I have and what I have been using. But then towards the end I, I would say maybe during the last month or during the last few weeks of the pregnancy my skin was dry and when i say dry i mean dry and i you know i was moisturizing it as much as i can making sure it's hydrated and moisturized then a week postpartum my skin developed these tiny little bumps Guys, I didn't take a video or a picture because I was just going through it. And I'm also someone who just enjoys being in the moment. And I didn't feel much of how my skin was looking like and much of my pregnancy, really. I only started doing videos towards the end of the pregnancy. So my skin, a week after I gave birth, developed these tiny little bumps, which are milky. They're nasty. <laughs> They are nasty. They kind of, they are nasty. They kind of look like they've got milk. I think they're just tiny white herds. I will insert a picture here. I'll find a picture online and show you what they look like. And my skin all over here, it looked sunburnt. And I think I did have a photo that I was taken. That's when I realized it. But then um, I deleted the photo you know, like I didn't think much about it because I was just, you know, the hormones was taking over and I just didn't like how it looked. So I deleted the photo. I kind of wish I hadn't deleted it. I would have shown you what my skin really looked like. So. I'm washed out. I think there's too much sun coming in here. Let me just. Oh, yeah, that's better. Maybe fix it up. Yep. Yeah that is better so i went back to the drawing board and i just remembered that salicylic acid is an ingredient which you know gets re it gets rid of the bumps on your skin and it evens out skin so i was like i am gonna start using that on my nose but then i realized i might as well use it all over my face because i didn't want to mix actives on my face and i just wanted to keep it as simple as i can guys i have a newborn so i can't be using gazillion products so i'm not gonna talk too much i'm just gonna get into it and show you exactly what i use because i said my skin is really dry uh, I, I like to go in with this la roche posay thermal water it, this is for sensitive skin it calms your skin and it reduces skin irritation so i just spray that all over my face and I just fan my face like this with my hands you know I just want it damp I, we don't want the skin to be dripping wet so we're just gonna let that sit in and the other show guys the other thing guys make sure your hands are clean so you can do this like tap it in if you are you know running late and you don't have the time and you don't have the time to just let it sink in so once i'm done with that water my skin is nice and damp and it is ready to take the first product so i mentioned before that my skin has been really dry so for that i use this guys it's not it's not showing i use this squalene cleanser it's from the ordinary i love the ordinary it's very affordable and it works for me so why not because we're not trying to break the bank so i use this squalene cleanser it's really moisturizing i love it as a makeup remover when on days when i'm wearing a make when i'm wearing makeup i love it because it removes sunscreen really well so to double cleanse i go in with this squalene cleanser first 
I just wet my hands, wet my face, and I just put a little bit on my hand, on my palm, and I rub it between my hands, and I just go all over my face in circular motion, and I do that for a minute. I rinse that off, and I then go in with this Athena Calm Restore Nourishing Oat Cleanser. This is for sensitive skin. It gently cleanses and hydrates to preserve skin moisture. Guys, uh, this cleanser, I swear by it. It is not soapy. It doesn't strip you of your natural oils. Oh, my lips are dry. <laughs> Let's moisturize my lips. Uh, I'm just using this Fenty. Um, gloss bomb. I love it. I feel like I'm washed out. So this is the one thing that I hate about using natural light because it keeps, it's not consistent. I'm sitting by the window and I'm just, okay, so I just put my lip gloss. I love it. Okay, I just reduced the lighting. I just shut the window because the lighting is just so inconsistent. So I've adjusted that. So I hope my skin is not too washed out because I really want you to see the imperfections because um, this is a skincare routine. We don't want to lie. We don't want to lie and mention things that are not there. Yeah, so now you can see a bit of texture uh, that's here and here. Okay, so I was just talking about this um, Avena cleanser. I really love it because it is so moisturizing on your skin. It doesn't strip your skin of its natural oils. So it is really great as as soon as you finish washing your face, it, it's already moisturized, but it is well cleansed at the same time. If there's one thing that I can advise you on face cleansers is to just find the best skin cleanser that addresses your skincare concerns because uh, this is the first step that can break or make your skincare routine. So if your needs change as well, you don't be afraid to keep changing your, your skincare routine because you may start off your skincare journey with acne prone skin. And then once you address that, your skin is really well balanced, no acne. You might want to get rid of those because some of the ingredients that attack acne may be harsh for your skin once that acne is gone. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm making sense. But yeah, do not be afraid to switch up your skincare products as your skincare concerns change. I just put a few pumps on my wet palms and I just rub it together and I just apply it on my face in circular motions as well. And I make sure to rinse it thoroughly. And after that, I then go in with my paper towel, which is clean, 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 clean. You can also use just a clean face washer. And you just, you know, dab, dab, dab. Do not rub your skin because um, the skin barrier is quite sensitive and you don't want to rub it. So you just pet, 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 pet until it is dry. And I've got, so with this skin, I'm going to share both what I use in the AM and in the PM. So for my morning routine, I like to use vitamin C. Vitamin C is a product that I've kept consistently throughout my whole skincare journey because it addresses lots and lots of issues i find that with every change that i go through my skincare vitamin c still has something that it addresses so speaking for this particular routine which i've already told you i have hyperpigmentation inflammation i've got dry skin yeah so i have kept vitamin c because it reduces that redness and inflammation also addresses that hydration issue it keeps my skin hydrated it reduces hyperpigmentation and it also just brightens my skin overall that is why i keep using vitamin c that is why i have kept vitamin c in this particular routine because i feel like it still addresses the concerns that i have at the moment but for night time, I've been using retinol. I have recently switched to salicylic acid because I had these uh, bumps. I'll put a picture somewhere. I had these tiny, tiny little bumps on my nose, which were white. I think it's just white heads, but they were so tiny. And just to run my finger like so, it was so bumpy. 
and it was a really really rough my skin everywhere was really rough my skin was really rough so i used I use salicylic acid at night because I feel like it addresses those skincare concerns, which is the texture on my skin, the roughness and all the white hairs. I feel like it does address that. So I introduced um, salicylic acid because it is an exfoliant. So it exfoliates your skin and it gets rid of texture and that bumpiness and roughness on your skin, which is pretty much what I was suffering from. So that's why I introduced salicylic acid. It, um, salicylic acid also has anti-aging benefits, which is pretty much what retinol does have. I still swear by retinol, guys. <laughs> I'm going back to it as soon as uh, these issues are fixed or corrected. But at the moment, I'm really loving salicylic acid because it has literally gotten rid of most of uh, the white heads. And I am in love, love, love. The texture is slowly improving and I'm uh, loving it. So that is um my active for night time so vitamin c in the morning salicylic acid at night you can also use salicylic acid during the, the day by the way but i just love the vitamin c benefits during the day that's why i am using my vitamin c during the day so after applying vitamin c during daytime i then go in with my niacinamide this is also from the ordinary I just put a few drops i don't use the dropper directly on my face i just apply a few drops on my fingertips after applying my vitamin c before i apply my niacinamide i let the vitamin c sit for about 15 to 20 minutes to just avoid uh peeling sometimes i find when you put the other product on top before the other one really sink sips into your skin it you get that peeling off effect which is a really nasty because it doesn't mix so i let it sit for 15 to 20 seconds then i apply my niacinamide then for nighttime routine after i apply my salicylic acid i then apply my hyaluronic acid i love hyaluronic acid guys it is the queen of hydrating so uh salicylic acid can be a bit drying because it's an exfoliant of course so i like to um, put that moisture back into my skin using hyaluronic acid guys there's a difference between hydrating and moisturizing your skin i think i have touched a bit on this so the difference is when you are hydrating you are introducing moisture into your skin and when you're moisturizing you are locking in that moisture so i find that combining my salicylic acid with my hyaluronic acid it just does help to nourish my skin that's all it just restores my skin and it nourishes it and i love how it feels it feels really soft it feels really supple it feels really hydrated so the only different thing in both my routines is that during the day i use vit vitamin c and niacinamide and at night i use hyaluronic acid and salicylic acid so that's the only different thing in both my routines otherwise the face cleanser is the same and the moisturizer is the same so at night i don't put sunscreen and during daytime i put sunscreen so after doing my actives i then go in with my moisturizer I love using uh, the CeraVe one. Uh, this one here, uh, this is my go-to. This hasn't changed in a really long time. I mix this with my jojoba oil. I used to use rosy rosy oil, but I have just been using jojoba oil and I love how it feels, how it looks on my skin. So I mix that together and I just rub it in my hands and I just apply it all over my face, including the neck as well. And during daytime, I then apply sunscreen. So when you're applying sunscreen, guys, it doesn't matter if it's hot or not because apparently it's got nothing to do with the sun directly hitting your skin it's got everything to do with the uv light so you just want to apply sunscreen during the day and you will thank me later so that's pretty much it i just love how simple this routine is and how 
practical it is for a mom guys because we know i don't know if you can hear baby she's awake we know how fussy life can be with a newborn and the last thing that you want to do is to just be adding a million steps to your routine it just makes it really tedious and unpractical and you just hate doing it a, a routine is just supposed to be simple so uh, that's it guys for today's video uh, thank you so much for watching to the end if you enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments if you've got any questions leave them in the comments someone might know the answer and they might respond to you if i do know the answer i'll just respond but the one thing that i want you to take away is for you to research research and do more research on these products before you apply them the other thing is if you are a breastfeeding or a pregnant mama just be careful what you put on your skin you might want to do your research whether or not the products that i've mentioned are safe for you to use during pregnancy and during a breastfeeding if you're not sure just make sure to ask your doctors and they will advise if it's a good product to use or not. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.